It's time to dust off your favourite chair and sit in front of the big screen TV. Get a drink in your hand because it's five o'clock somewhere. Your number one host, the thunder from down under. A man on a quest to make money for beer. Can Al Lou take Hartlepool United all the way to the Champions League final? Let's find out in today's episode of the Youth Edition. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Youth Edition Career Mode. Hartlepool United sitting in seventh position with, what, seven games remaining. And uh, things are really tightening up here between fourth and probably 10th or 11th. I mean, everyone's still vying for a, a spot at possibly playing in the playoffs to make the Premier League next season. So uh, we're going to have to pull out all the stops. If we want to be in contention, we're going to have to play hard in the next seven games. Now, we've got Nottingham Forest up next, but... Uh, Got boys away on international duty, injuries. Oh, our squad depth is being tested. Let's get into it, though, with a player upgrade. Right, today's player upgrade is in for Duba. It comes in from Bagoa Machar. Thank you very much for your comment. 33 thumbs up. Outstanding, everybody that got involved. He's gone with the number 66 because that was the year Botswana became an independent country. Good to know. Uh, long sleeves, high socks. Oh, I haven't got high socks on there. Let's get that sorted out. And there we go. High socks since it's cold in the UK and he isn't used to the weather just yet. Some black gloves and some blue boots. I found some lovely light blue Mizunos, which I think suit him accordingly. So there we go. He's ready to go. Right, there are a few youngsters that still need an upgrade. I'm just going to hold off on them uh, for now because who knows, they may find their way out of the club. Who knows what's going to happen in the future. But today we are very much depleted uh, on players and stamina. Uh, so we're going to Nottingham Forest to the city ground and Al Lewis had to pull something out of the back catalog. This one's called the Gravy Train. It's a 3142 formation. An interesting one from Al Lou. Kone up top with Colwyn, Blunt, Bailey, DuPont, Winchester and Rakimov across the middle and then a back three of O'Connor, Taylor and Dubay. Taylor already uh, very low on stamina at night, of course, between the sticks. This could go anyway, uh, but we'll have a crack. And hopefully those boys are back from international duty before the next game because we are struggling for depth. Uh, There's definitely one thing that I didn't account for was the international duty. But so well, we press on. Let's see what we can do here against Nottingham Forest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on the road. A pretty unknown formation and... Well, who knows what's going to happen here today at the city ground. Taking on Nottingham Forest. Hopefully, we can secure some points from this match. Let's try it out. Well, Mo Winchester gets an interception here. Plays it inside. Kone can flick it through. No, picked off by Peters. Looks like they're playing four or five at the back as well. So uh, with us only at three at the back, our wing backs are going to have to really get involved. Rakimov already there pushing back, which is good to see. Well, it looks like we've got an injury to Liam Bailey again. The man just can't stay on the park. Rakimov. Kone. Miss Colowin. Lays it off. Kone. Back out for Colowin. He'll shoot from range. Good save from Samba. Oh, a good tackle from DuPont. Well, he does have an injury. That's a cause for concern. Colowin. Looks back inside. Mo Winchester can press his way forward. Lays it off now for Kone. Back for Winchester. Lays it off. He's got Colowin. Oh, good save. Dubay. DuPont. Bailey still injured. Kone. Lays it forward. Here's Mo Winchester. Pressing his way forward. Lays it out now. Rack him off. Tried to deliver it in. Might get another crack. No, but we'll get a corner. Oh, here comes Nottingham Forest. Taylor got his body in the way and seemed to affect the shot. Knight. And it's Mo Winchester. Rack him off. The Conate. As well, brings it forward. Colowin now. Try and set something up. Lays it forward. Kone bursts into the scene. Kone, yes, there's the finish. 1 0 Hartlepool. Didier Kone, seven goals for the season. It's a brilliant football. I mean, it's a very aggressive formation that we are playing here. But 1 0 to Hartlepool. The keeper has been beaten. Colowin. You get the assist here, but a good burst of pace from Kone, and then just gets him on the angle. 1 0. Nottingham Forest with a corner. Bailey looks like he's got a shoulder injury. That one's 
opened up but Knight has it covered Rakimov Mo Winchester holds up the play and there we go we control it it's 1-0 Hartlepool United one change at half time Bailey's had to check out with that injury so Glick checks into the midfield let's see if we can uh, hold on here maybe score a second just to put this one to bed but from Taylor Rakimov clears it away finds Mo Winchester he can lay it off quickly Glick has to hold it up lays it off Papa Blunt We'll try and charge down the wing. Let's go, Papa. Keeps on running. Needs delivery, though. Oh, that's shit, Owsery. Fight. Fight him. Just fucking hit him. Papa. Oh, you've been smashed. Oh, Papa Blunt. Oh, Glick. Interception does well. Colowin. Finds Kone. Tries to burst through. Can lay it off. Winchester. Oh, what to save. Turns and burns. Finds Kone. Kone now trying to find an opening. Finds Mo Winchester. Oh, cracking save again. Must make a couple of changes here. Dragovic and Manila check in for Blunt and Dupont. See how Manila goes. Uh, CDM roll. Dragovic getting some minutes on the wing. It's a corner here. Oh, Taylor. Lovely. There's Colowin. We can just press his way forward here. Lays it off, Glick. Outside touch. Lays it off, Rakimov. Oh, levels. Ref, send him. Nottingham Forest. Yes, Manila. Oh, no, O'Connor, that's poor. Dubai. Oh, he's gone for the slide tackle. What? That's a late corner. Nottingham Forest deep into injury time. Oh, Knight, big save. We get another crack at it. Ref refusing to blow the whistle. Who's getting up here? Dragovic goes for a clearance. There's the whistle. It wasn't convincing, but we get the job done. 1-0 on the road. Jeez, Nottingham Forest with 61% possession. We got 12 shots away. And, uh, well, it was save central. 1-0. Right, just a bruised shoulder for Liam Bailey. Jeez, he's injury prone. He'll probably pick up that stat. Uh, sure, we can make that happen. It, it seems feasible, the amount of injuries this man has. But out for five days, not too shabby. Right, second game today's episode. Hartlepool hosting Barnsley here at Victoria Park. The boys back from their international duty. Taylor still uh, on the cusp of trying to get his fitness up. Uh, but good to see Holmes back, Duggan back, Mannion back, Doyle back. And uh, hopefully we can have a real impact here today. A 5-2-3 from Barnsley. So uh, it might be tough to break down. We'll see what we can do. Let's get some points at home. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go at home. Full strength side back out on the pitch and uh, looking for Duggan and Colowin to really give us a good run home. Well, they've got through around the back. But Rakimov getting back to do the defensive work. Oh, that's lovely from the rack. Looks forward. Duggan. Lays it over. Mo Winchester. Let's go, Mo! Get in, lad! 1-0 Hartlepool. Mo Winchester, five goals for the season. He's dropped a little bit deeper this season. Still knows how to find a goal. Lovely ball over the top here from Duggan. And then just controlled and delivered by Mo Winchester. 1-0 Hartlepool. Good finish. Barnsley trying to work their way through our defensive line with some quick passing. Terry Taylor gets in with a good foot. They come again. Badgie and Bailey going at it in the box. Skipper just needs to hold him out. Does well. And they come again, though. Where's Holmes? Oh, good save from Knight. Oh, yes, Holmes read it. It's Carl Mannion. Just needs to push on. Come on, Mannion. You're quicker than that. Lays it off. Oh, Colowin picked out. Barnsley with a heavy press. Oh, Holmes, big challenge. Rakimov gets in. Colowin, can he set something up? No. Can't handle the source, can't handle the pressure. Come on. Holmes. Out the ball, O'Connor. Oh, that is a ball. It's Mo Winchester. In on goal again for Mo. Oh! Mo gets in again. 
kicking himself after missing that shot. Colowin trying to do too much with it. Feeds it inside. Duggan lays it off. Has Bailey. Let's go Hartlepool. Skipper on the board. His fifth goal of the season. The midfield starting to flourish. Just some good persistent football here from Hartlepool. And the skipper gets on the board. A relatively quiet season for him. He's had a few injuries. But Duggan will get the assist. And it's a good finish. 2-0. Taylor. Holmes. Doyle. Oh, just couldn't turn. The press coming from Barnsley. Mickey Doyle to close the space here. Get in there, Mickey. Oh, there's no one there. But he's fucking missed as well. Hartlepool, 2-0. Oh, I don't know how they've kept that one in. Barnsley trying to find an opening. Holmes. Get out there, Knight. Wow. A little bit slow off his line. Finds O'Connor. And the Irishman pushes his way forward here. And holds up the play. Slips it through nicely. Mannion. And try and push his way inside. Mannion. Cuts back. Oh, no. You've been picked out, lad. Brings it out wide. O'Connor. Oh, he's got one through here. Mannion. Crosses it over. Duggan. Is he onside? He is indeed. 3 0. Oh, and Duggan hits 21 goals for the season, equalizing with Colowin. Celebrates accordingly. <laughs> oh, Bailey. <laughs> Stop showing off, dickhead. Just score the goals. No oh, bullshit there from Liam Bailey with the marks are not front. Don't get him injured. Mannion just throws it in the box and Duggan goes to work. 3-0 Hartlepool. Oh, Mickey Doyle. Rakimov, what vision. And Duggan just plays one through. Here's Colowin. Well, it's a race for the golden boot at this stage. Oh, Col oh! <laughs> Colowin! Oh, no. He just doesn't want it. Wow! Finds Duggan. Oh, he's got Bailey on side. It's brilliant pass. No! Bailey! He's missed as well. What's going on? There's a force field on the goals. All right, let's make some changes. Magnuson, Aslani, and Dupont check in. Dupont in for Taylor, who needs a rest. Bring him up. I think we can afford it. The block from Holmes. Nice to get a foot in. Palmer's very quick. Barnsley have decided to shake things up a little bit here. Played inside. As soon as you make substitutions, things just tend to change. No clean sheet for Knight. Barnsley straight through, 14 minutes to go. Benson gets the job done for Barnsley. Hmm. Come on, boys. Can't switch off now. And DuPont, well, maybe we should have left Taylor on. 3 1. Duggan lays one off. Rakimov back inside. Oh, and Duggan finish. Oh, good save. Mannion gets the header, finds Mo Winchester. He has a crack. Collins makes the save. Magnuson. Duggan. Oh, out the back door here. Here's Rakimov. Oh, he's missed as well. There's a force field in play. Oh, Holmes. Big challenge. Mannion. Winchester. Oh, through the back door. Bailey pushes his way forward. The skipper again. He's got to finish this one. Oh, save from Collins. Winchester to deliver this one in. Duggan gets a flip on it. Oh, Holmes got taken out. Advantage played. I think we've done enough here. And there is the whistle. 3-1 at home. Hartlepool finding some touch. 12 shots to seven, even possession. And uh, a good game all around. We take the win.
Right, the Youth Academy reports have come back. We found a few players. Some have dropped away. Let's get into it. Wensley Ballantyne from the US Virgin Islands, 59 overall, 71 to 94 potential. Looks okay. We'll monitor him further. Fergus Ross still looking good, 68 rated now, 73 to 94 potential. So another centre back to come through. Pembroke Evans, 63 rated, 72 to 88. He has dropped away. Uh, we'll hold for now, but if we need some spots, he may make his way out. Ibrahim Jovic from Bosnia, uh, 64 rated, 83 to 89. We've got a lot of right backs coming through now. I'm not sure he'll make the cut. We'll hold for now. Harry Richards, though, 56 rated, 70 to 88, has dropped right off the pace, and I actually am going to release him. Next up, we've got Pedro Godinho, 66 rated, 91 to 94 potential. We'll hold him in the academy. We pick up Ross Owen, 62 rated, 66 to 90. We'll see what happens when we turn him into a, uh, a natural right back. Cam Gilmer from Indonesia, 66 rated, 82 to 88. That's dropped away, but at 66, he might be viable. We'll hold for now. Seamus Gallagher up to a 66, of course, moving to a central attacking midfielder, 84 to 90 potential. We'll monitor his progress. Might be nice to see him partner up and uh, get in behind Duggan. Pavlavi. Ayatollah from Iran, 55 rated, 79 to 89. I just don't think this lad's going to come through. And um, yeah, I'm going to release him. And Carla Felix, uh, we want to see what happens when he turns into a striker. He's 68 rated now, 76 to 90. Uh, it's more his height. Six foot, big, you know, solid unit. Could possibly do something in this team. We pick up Barry Jenkins from Wales. Six foot tall as well. 58 rated, so a little on the low side. 71 to 94 potential. We'll see how that uh, maneuvers. And of course, we've got Harrison Bruce, 62 rated, 75 to 93. Uh, another big... Looks like a, a solid option. Only five foot eleven, but I mean, looks like he could be a, a solid striker in the future. We'll we'll have to wait and see. Some of these boys will get released. There's no doubt about that. But we'll hold them all for now. It is time to send the scouts out once again. So give me some new countries down below. Thumbs up on the ones you would like to see us visit. We can return to countries we have been to. There's a lot of countries that are available for us to scout. Not all the ones on the uh, the screen that you normally see. We do have extras. Thank you to the. Uh, you know, the mods that we do use, not every single country is available. They have to actually be programmed into the game in the back end somewhere. But uh, yeah, put me some new countries, thumbs up on the ones you like. And we've got some random ones here today. Thunderclaw has sent us off to Gambia. Uh, Rafael has sent us off to Laos. And Get Cosio Rect has... Okay, Get Cosio Rect. Yeah, great. <laughs> great name. Okay. Off to Panama for a playmaker. Right, the boys have had some time to recover in time for the next game. Hull City hosting Hartlepool. We're back at full strength, back at full fitness. Taylor, oh, geez, he's enjoyed the, the little break that he's had. Uh, but, yeah, O'Connor said a 75. The boys are still growing. I mean, to put it into context of the championship, if you look at teams like Fulham and Watford, who sit near the top of the table, they've got, you know, eight, some uh, a handful of 80-plus rated players in their squad. So we're nowhere near that level. And if that's what we need to get to, you know, the Premier League, these boys still need time to grow. Put that into context as well, though. Brentford's at the bottom of the table, and they've got some 80-rated players. Um, so, you know, it's a little bit dicey. It's a little bit spicy. Let's get into this one, though. Let's put some faith in these lads. When you take the sharpness into account, Duggan is an 80. Colwyn is an 80. So, you know, we should be competitive. Taking on Hull City near the bottom of the table. Let's try and get some points on the road. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Hull City, Colwyn and Duggan fighting it out at the moment for the Golden Boot, both on 21 goals. Who is going to you know, break the chains over the last few games. Or will it be someone else in the league? Uh, I think someone from Fulham's on 20 goals. So it's anyone's trophy. It's definitely not Harry Knight's golden glove. I think he's only got three clean sheets thus far this season. So uh, let's work on that. Oh my days, Hull going in straight away. Just getting a telling off. A minute gone, two slime tackles. Oh, flies a, a lovely ball forward here. Finds Colloan, he shoots and it's a good save from Baxter. No, no Winchester. Pushes his way forward and then slips it out here. Kyle Mannion drives his way forward into the box, brings it back inside. Colloan, oh, geez, he's trying the heroics. Get the ball first, mate. Well, oh, they've got numbers here. Bang! Woo, no clean sheet for night again. This man loves living in the dirty sheets. <laughs> 1 0 to Hull City. 
Hey, what the times have you changed? He's changed. He's changed kits. Who was that? Oh, underneath night as well. One nil hull. Oh, they got numbers again. They've got numbers again. Fuck me. Midfield, where are you? Two nil hull city. We've got to be showing up more often, boys. The midfield oh, doesn't track back. Look at Winchester just standing still. 2-0. Wonder no if a hull half an hour gone. They're right on top. Bailey gets the clearance. Rakimov tries to get stuck in defensively. Mickey Doyle, come on, do some work here, lad. He's been turned. Yes, Taylor. Bailey. Winchester plays this one forward. Mannion. Compress. Push. Lay it through. Owen Duggan in on goal. Oh, he's missed. Okay. It's not like Duggan missing that kind of opportunity. Taylor does well. Bailey. Rakimov. Quickly inside. Collowit. Mo Winchester. Back off of Collowin. Lays it through. Rakimov onside. Finish, son. Let's go. 2-1. Rack him up with his 14th goal for the season. Interesting celebration. It's taking a shit in the corner. <laughs> it's 2-1. Good touch here from Colwyn. And played Rakimo in. Beautiful stuff. 2-1. Connor got the block. Holmes plays it off. Mannion gets the touch. Winchester. Can we break here? Bailey lays it through. Rack him up onside. Can lay it off now. Has Duggan. Has to finish. Duggan. Oh, he's missed again. Yo, Duggan. Finish your dinner, son. Two prime opportunities and he's gone wide. Oh, El Lou's got a new outfit. <laughs> well, there is the halftime whistle. We've had some key chances, but missed. 2-1 in favour of Hull. Go on, Mickey Doyle. Beautiful. Rack him off. Back to Mickey. Fire it down the line now. Baylor will keep on running. Just chip over the top. Rack him off. Oh, I tried to lay it off, but somehow Hull City took the ball away. Oh, that's fucking football. Hull City. 3 1. Quick fire passing. And they find the opening. They've been more clinical here today. Uh, it's costing us 3-1 Hull. It's just quick one-twos. One, two, three, bang. Stick a finger in, Taylor. You've got to get closer, mate. Oh, Hull City! 4-1! It's another one of those games. The concentration levels of Hartlepool are still yet to be desired. I'm going to play Premier League football. You're going to be switched on for 90 minutes, and we're definitely not doing that here today. Well, yeah, Connor was there. He just decided to not put a foot in. All right, changes. Magnuson for Kolo and Blunt for Mannion. And uh, Winchester checks out for DuPont. Taylor. Magnuson. Bailey. Duggan. Lays it off. Magnuson worked his way inside. Magnuson straight on and scores. Ten goals for the season for the Icelandic man. And a sniff of hope here for Hartlepool to try and get back into the game. It's handy when you can have players off the bench come on and have an instant impact. Good work from Magnuson. Rode the bump and still got the shot away. 4-2. Oh, Holmes, big challenge. Falls back. We're getting some clean touches here. Taylor comes through. Bailey gets the touch. Here's Magnuson. And he whips this one out wide. Looks for Rakimov. Chests it down and maneuvers forward. Still comes Rakimov. Works his way here into the box. Rakimov. Oh, good save. Get in there, Bailey. Fuck me. Oh, 
Oh, you're joking! Holmes has fallen over for some fucking reason. And Hull makes it 5-2. Holmes thinks he's fucking score, Moncour. You've stolen Holmes' his face, mate. What the fuck happened then? They had four out there. How is that not offside? And what is that from Holmes? He just slipped on a banana peel. Oh, disgraceful. 5-2. Bailey. Quickly up the line. Rakimov. Magnuson. Oh, big Terrence. Let's go, Terry Taylor. How's your crossing abilities? Pretty average. Tried to find Duggan for a quick turn. No, no skills to pay the bills today. DuPont. Blunt. Duggan, lovely touch. Can drive in here and get another one. 5-3. Duggan with 22 goals to the season goes to the top of the golden boot race. And it's little too late for Hartlepool. Good finish from Duggan. But Hull have been the better side today. A little touch from Papa Blunt, but it was really the turn from Duggan that opened up the space. Good finish. 5-3. And there is the whistle, a defeat at Hull. Not much in that game, to be fair. It was just uh, some pretty poor defending and... It's cost us five goals. We had the possession, equal shots, almost got them in on passing as well, but just didn't work. 5-3. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a, a very big game. We've got Fulham uh, up for the final game of today's episode. They sit top of the table, and straight after this, we've got Watford, who sits second. DuPont checks in for Winchester at a 73. I think just feel like he's a little bit better defensively. I was going to bring Dubé in, but I think we need to put our best team out. Mannion needs to find some clutch touch here today, and uh, hopefully Colowin has a field day. We need him in one of his hot spells Taylor to a 73, Knight 74. So the team is growing, but I mean, Fulham have got some 80 odd rated players in this team. So this could be a real challenge. Luckily enough, it's at Victoria Park. Will that play in our favor? Let's get into this game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in front of the home fans looking to turn it on against first place Fulham. They've been the uh, the top side all season and looking to press their opportunity and chances to get back into the Premier League. Uh, we're going to have a red-hot crack here at home. Oh, Wirtz straight through. And he's just gone straight through Knight's legs. 1-0 Fulham. They've got the perfect start. I'm not sure what Knight was doing. I think Wirtz is right up there with the, uh, the Golden Boot Challenge. The name seems familiar. 1-0 Fulham. They're straight out of the gates with a, a heavy press and some good pressure. But uh, some woeful goalkeeping here by the looks of things. He's just done. A low finish under night. Oh, he's nutmegged him. 1-0. Oh, Terry Taylor joins in the charge. Colowin can lay it off. Duggan tried to turn his man, tried to get the shot. He'll get another chance. Let's go. Owen Duggan, 23 for the season, 1-1. And it's a fifth minute equaliser. Persistence pays off from the Northern Irishman. Get in. You know this is going to be a tough fixture, but it's everything to play for. Duggan tried to smash through two. It got blocked. Keeper dived, and that gave him an opportunity. And it was a clutch finish. Just tapped it home. 1 1. Good from Colowin. Takes it off Wirtz. Feeds it off for Duggan. He can feed it for Mannion. Mannion presses to the pocket. Cuts back beautifully. Delivers it in for Colowin. Oh, he got up. He fucking got up. Oh, Holmesy, you're a bit deep, mate. Push back, lad. Oh, good save from Knight. Ball and threatening. It's uh, a bit of a shootout. Mannion can drive it away here. Yes. Go, Kyle. Takes it long. It's a good searching ball here for Rakimov, who had to take a touch, and that's cost him. Oh, where's the defence? Straight through Knight, 2-1. A couple of defensive errors there. And we just need to weather this, because uh, Fulham 
has some key ambitions to do some real damage. Taylor misses it in the air. Doyle was marking one. No one picking up the runner out the back door. Is that going through Knight's legs again? Oh, just wide of him. 2-1. Oh, Mickey Doyle throws a leg in. It's a clean challenge, apparently. Bailey. Collowin. Oh, Duncan got leveled. But from Terry Taylor. DuPont presses his way forward. Still comes DuPont. Lays it off for Duggan. Needs to get here. Oh, and Duggan. Oh, he's missed. His clutch finishing has been thrown out the window. Oh, the football on display here is ludicrous. 3 1 Fulham. No chance today for Hartlepool. We are being outplayed by a team that is definitely going to the Premier League next season. And it just shows how far off the pace we still are. A lot of work to do here for Aulo. We've been competitive, but when we come up against some of these bigger teams, it really does show. I'm going to play through again. Fulham looking threatening. Taylor got a touch. It's going to slip out the back. Oh, beautiful from Wallace Holmes. Just threw his body in front of it. To Bailey. Oh, he's given away. DuPont gets in. Colwyn lays it off. Has Duggan. Tries to create some magic. Duggan. Oh, hail. He's quick. Oh, Wallace. Great save, Knight. Reed lays it off. They find a way through around the outside. O'Connor gets a touch in. It'll be another late corner here for Fulham. Just trying to weather the pressure. 4-1 Fulham. It's fucking works. Harry Knight, so slow off his line, definitely needs to get some pace behind him if he wants to come out and be one of those sort of aggressive goalkeepers. Just sort of trundled his way off the line. Look at him, just running on a treadmill. And that leaves him completely out of position. Holmes was there trying to get ahead on it, but... Nope. Did that come off, Holmes? Is that an own goal? Nope, Wurtz has got it. And that'll be the whistle. 4-1 Fulham at halftime. Good from Mickey Doyle, but it's going to come back in here by the looks of things. Oh, everyone's being turned. Great save, Knight. Fulham straight off the blocks. And they're all over us like a fat kid on a cupcake. Oh, Knight, another big save. We could be seven or eight down, but this man's trying to keep us in the game. They've had so many shots, so much possession. Another good save from Knight. No, oh, Holmes went in. Big challenge. Well, it's worked out for him. And here's Bailey. The skipper tries to push his way forward. Duggan, where are you? You need a cut inside, son. Bailey trying to set something up. Oh, no one's making the right runs. They're all over the show. Oh, Knight again called into action. O'Connor, oh, he's giving it away. Fuck's sake. Great save again, Knight. Protect your keeper, boys. Fuck me. <laughs> 5 1 Fulham. I think that's Cavallio. He's not the biggest of lads, but. Who's marking him up? Mannion just backs away. Oh, that whole player on the line that just doesn't seem to do anything grinds my gears like Mickey Doyle could have jumped here and he doesn't really do anything 5-1 right, we'll make some changes Magnuson for Colowin, Blunt for Mannion and Dubé in for Doyle come on get a tackle in boys oh shit stains shit stains 6-1 full of we tell you what, we're not ready for Premier League. Ah, oh, this bell in wants a piece of the camera as well. Piss off, mate. If this is the kind of play that we're going to be dealing with, we are definitely not ready. Oh, that'll be seven. 
Oh my days, this is an absolute pantsing. On our home deck, Hartlepool being shown the bottom of the toilet. Nothing's landing, nothing's touching except the back of the net. Touching cloth, that's what we're doing. 7-1. Bailey puts one forward, wants Rakimov. Hale has just checked him out of the game almost all day. Oh, nice, brilliant save. Five minutes of extra time as well, as if we don't need any more. Well, there's the whistle, comprehensively fingered by Fulham, 7-1 at home. Oh, that's rough. And the stats show 63% possession for Fulham, 20 shots to four, 11 saves made by Knight. It could have been a lot, lot worse. And we leave with our tails between our legs. Right, so that's where we finish today's episode. Currently, we're in seventh, uh, a point out of the playoffs. There's three games remaining in the season. Our next one is against Watford. So, um, yeah, that's going to be another tough fixture. Uh, but I guess the last two games, we've got Huddersfield, who are, where are they sitting? Mid-table, 11th. And then we finish the season against Brentford away. So, we need some points if we want to get to the playoffs. Otherwise, it's going to be good night and uh, we'll see you next season so it could be the season finale next episode we'll have to wait and see i'll see you then i'm sparring dk five o'clock somewhere you have a good one <laughs> the sparring dk channel now has patreon and if you feel like just going that little extra step to help uh, you know the channel grow you can go across to the website pledge your allegiance to myself and uh, for one dollar a month you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that one dollar a month at this stage i cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart you, you really will make a difference in the future so jump across there if you're that way inclined to the patreon channel sign up today and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home now if you are looking for some more content we've got a couple of videos one here one here and if you want to subscribe there's a button right there so go ahead subscribe and you'll be notified when the video